Hi everyone, I hope you've been enjoying the course so far and today we're going to learn some new stuff. If you look at the command history at the right, you notice that a new timestamp and data stamp is recorded. I do have the previous calculations as I told you before and if I need them, they're like accessible for me and I can do whatever I need, like double click on this and it's gonna be repeated seamlessly in this video i want to start with the very basic thing because as we promised we're going to start from the basic and the fundamental things and then go up to advanced level i would like to start with basic arithmetic let's define some variables x equals to 12 and a equals to 2 b equals to 5 that's good in order to do the multiplication, as most of you know, we use asterisk. So it is shift eight on your keyboard. A multiplied by B, and the result is 10. Next, I can do A and division, right? A division by B. And if I hit enter, it's gonna calculate that. There is something interesting that, well, few people know and it is that MATLAB is able to do the backslash as a division as well so if I say a backslash B it's gonna go with the division but what's the difference you will notice that the value for B equals 5 and the value for a equals 2 so if I say a divided by B it will be 0.4 if I say a backslash b and then hit enter, the result will be different. So you will notice that here b is divided by a, although a comes first. And also we do have summation and subtraction. Is the fact that there is an operation called uh, the assignment, but we there's a special way to write it. So if I say x x equals 7 this is the result how about this well how come x plus 3 on the right side be equal to x how can it be possible well as you see there is no error involved and basically it's a convention and a very normal way of adding value to a variable so how we can read and interpret this Basically, whatever the value of x is defined here, which is 7, is going to be stored in this part, x plus 3. So the value for x is 7, and then it is plus 3, which means 10. Then the whole value for in the right side will be substituted as the value of x. So if I say x equals x plus 1, the value for x, the last value is 10. Now we're going to add 1 to it and the new value for x will be 11, as you see. How about x equals x minus 23? So the last value for x was 11. And now when we put 11 and subtract 23 units out of it, the result will be negative 12. And the new value for x will be negative 12 as well. One more thing. Is it correct to say x plus y? We do have the value for x, which is negative 12, and the value for y, which is 766. And then we defined a new variable called t. And if we hit enter, you will notice that it is done without an error. So it's definitely possible that we put the value of two variables and define a new variable for it as well. We could also find the value of this expression and we call it the caret, x caret y, which is x to power y, and it's gonna be infinite, of course. So let's go with y caret, and you see that the result is calculated. And I'm going to talk about the different formats of the result, but what I'd like you to do in this part is to calculate some basic arithmetic and practice on this because we are going to use them a lot throughout the course. I am Hossein Tutunchi and thank you for watching this video. See you in next one.